Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Um, I was just in my thoughts, so I thought I'd do something very casual. Um, anyway, I was thinking about finding the right person for you. Um, finding the right person to spend your life with can be one of the most amazing experiences a person can have. While it will take a lot of time and patience, for sure, when you finally find the one who is meant for you, it is a feeling like no other. So for many of us, finding the right partner, finding the perfect match, begins with a list of qualities that we desire in a partner. The, um, someone might look for a person who's, say, understanding, intelligent, funny, or or rich, right? While having these traits can definitely make a person more attractive, it is important to remember that no one is perfect. So instead of focusing solely on a checklist, it is essential to connect with someone on a much deeper level. When you meet the right person, it will be like finding a missing piece of yourself that you didn't even know was missing. They will make you feel complete in a way that you never have before. Their laugh will light up your world and their smile will just warm your heart. You will find yourself falling more and more in love with them each day, not because of their physical appearance or what they can do for you. Because love, it's, it's not selfish or shallow like that, but rather because of who they are as a person. And man, I hate this generation, how it perpetuates for toxic love, how you're supposed to play the game, play it safe, love, but keep it toxic. <laughs> because supposedly, the more anxious you are about your partner, the more you trick them of thinking that they're actually in love with you. That's insane to me. Because the truth is, genuine connection, it's comforting. It is not anxious. It's, it's not nervous energy. It is peace. When you find it, you will know. You will feel seen. You will feel like you are being mirrored back to yourself, like you are discovering a shadow of your own heart in another person. Slowly through loving the right people, you will come to realize that the human beings who are meant for you in this life will not exhaust you loving them because loving them should be easy. It should be effortless. It shouldn't drain you or hollow you out or leave you feeling like you are hard to love. Slowly, you will come to realize that you do not have to romanticize the things in this life that hurt you. You do not have to run towards the fire. Love does not have to feel like a fight. It does not have to feel like a battle. It does not have to wound you or hurt you. Slowly, you will learn how to lay down your arms, how to walk away from those who will only ever love you in halves. Slowly, you will learn that you cannot love someone into loving you or being ready if they are not. You cannot love someone into their potential. We make this mistake so often. You cannot change a person. You cannot close their hands around your heart if they are not willing to hold it themselves. You have to let them go. You have to focus on the people in your life who brings you back home to yourself. You have to focus on standing up for that kind of connection, on honoring that calm because it exists. It exists and I hope you learn to trust that because when you come across it, when you ultimately experience that kind of love, it feels as if you are standing at a door you finally have the keys for. You enter it with ease. There's no fumbling through your jacket pocket trying to find the right way. There's no desperately reaching into your bag trying to uncover the point of access. You are no longer banging your fist against the door asking to be invited in. You can just walk through soundlessly, seamlessly, softly. You take off your shoes, you hang your coat in the closet, you drink some coffee, and you're home. And it will feel amazing just being home.